Are you aware there is a structure in India that is so spectacular that it defies logical understanding? It is strange for the Western civilization to think that Indian civilization actually accept that there are alien beings. In India, they have been depicting them for thousands of years in the Vedic text. It's crazy, but it's widely accepted in India, almost like common knowledge, that there are flying machines voice-activated machinery, and even nuclear warheads that wiped out whole empires way back in history where we are schooled to believe that humans were primitive. It is thought that the earliest Vedic texts were first written roughly 5,000 years ago, but Hindus claim that the stories originated thousands of years earlier, existing as part of an oral tradition passed down from one generation to the next. They describe the Kailasa temple as being built by a supreme race of beings and when you consider the artistic accuracy of the temple, it is hard to disagree. Wait till you hear this. Archaeologists believe it was chiseled out of the hillside starting at the top and ending at the bottom. If this is true, then just how was it done? It is absolutely mind-boggling and it is the single most magnificent piece of ancient majesty that points to the fact that an ancient civilization existed in the very remote past that were capable of just about anything surpassing modern day construction accuracy in a time that we are told we were not even conscious yet. Some historians estimate that construction of the temple required the removal of over 400,000 tons of rock. But even more incredible is that mainstream archaeologists propose that this feat was accomplished in just 18 years. Most researchers point out that 150 years to accomplish this task is more realistic if it was in fact achieved by human labor. If people worked every day for that 18 years for 12 hours straight with no breaks, then they would have had to have removed 5 tons of rock every hour. In reality, such a feat is not even possible to date with modern technology. If it happened in 18 years, it is very hard to account for another baffling fact. If they removed 400,000 tons of rock, they have to have had been discarded away somewhere. The rubble from this site is not found anywhere. It does not exist, but that's not right. What could have happened to it? 400,000 tons of discarded rock would be easily visible, you would imagine, but it is as if it vanished into thin air. It's crazy to think there are no answers using the common sense we are meant to follow. Maybe common sense is just a measurement of our inability to self-focus. Who knows? We pass the Vedic text off as a mythology, but what if we were to tell you that within the ancient text, there is a machine that is described as being capable of building the Kalasa temple by vaporizing the rock out of the hillside, much like the way a printer works. The machine is called the Bahumastra. This high-tech machine would be able to quickly drill into the rock and basically vaporize it. This could basically change the rock into air. The device was mentioned multiple times in ancient Vedic texts, which was used to mine for precious stones and metals. It is possible the Bahumastra machine described in the Vedic texts was really a technological device that existed on Earth thousands of years ago. It is stunning to think there are no clues as to how it was built or when. It is a breathtaking construction that points out that thousands of years ago, ancient cultures were far more advanced than what mainstream scholars are crediting them for. Everyone is trying to understand how the temple was built, cut out of the rocks, without the use of modern technology. We are repeatedly ignoring the ancient documents and passing them off as mythological fantasy. How ignorant does it make us in this day and age to not consider ancient technology? Why do we consider the day and now as the pinnacle of technological achievements on an earth that has existed for close to 5 billion years? It's crazy. There is so much being overlooked and perhaps even more that has been destroyed through the ages for masonry and wealth. The temple symbolizes Mount Kailash, the home of the Lord Shiva, one of the most important ancient Hindu deities. The Kailasa temple is the sixth from a total of 34 caves which were literally excavated out of the surrounding rock. The construction technique is a mystery. The builders are unknown, yet the artistic brilliance found at this temple is out of this world. It depicts life on earth and some of the creatures that can be found here, a collaboration of sorts. If we can't replicate this today, 
then how is it done thousands of years ago? It simply defies logical understanding. What do you think of the Kalasa Temple? Comments below and thank you for watching.